How to use Google Sites for blogging. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. For today's video, we will be talking about how to use Google Sites for blogging. Google Sites is a versatile website builder that can be used to create and manage a blog without the need for complex coding or technical skills. Whether you're a passionate writer, a hobbyist blogger, or a business owner looking to share valuable content, Google Sites provide an easy-to-use platform to create and publish your blog. In this step-by-step -step guide, we will walk you through the process of using Google Sites for blogging. You'll learn how to set up your blog, customize the layout and design, create and organize blog posts, and publish your content for your readers to enjoy. You have the flexibility to personalize your blog, add multimedia elements, and optimize it for search engine. So whether you want to share your personal experiences, provide information articles, and promote your product and services, Google Sites offers the tools to create what you need. So let's get started. And the first thing you're going to have to do is go to Google Sites. Now, if you don't know how to access Google Sites, you can simply open a new tab and search Google Sites on your browser. And then you're going to see this first link over here. You're simply going to open this and you will be able to access Google Sites just like this. Make sure you to remember though that your Google account is logged into the browser. And now this is what Google Site looks like. We're going to give you a quick tour before we proceed. As you can see here on the top, this is where you can start your new site. You could either start with a blank or start with different galleries. The different galleries available are for personal, as you can see, like family update or a portfolio. You also have template related to work like events, help center, projects, and teams. You also have one for small businesses. You have a dog walker, holiday party, photo portfolio, restaurant, salon, and wedding over here. You could also have one for education like graduates, professors, class, club, and student portfolio over here. Now, if you do want to use templates, it depends up to you. It is completely up to you. It doesn't necessarily need to be a blog template because you could actually edit and customize different templates to fit your need. For example, you could like use the template for event because you like the design. You could use that and simply customize it to fit your needs and turn it into a blog website. Now, after creating a website, you will be able to see them in this section over here under recent sites. You will be able to see every single website that you have created now and in the past. You can also see the time of date where you opened it before. You can also click on the three dots and you will be able to rename the website or delete this or open in a new tab. Now for us, we're going to create a blank website and we're going to show you how you could start creating a website using Google Sites. We're going to click on the blank and we will be redirected to the editing page of Google Sites. As you can see, this is the editing page. Right now, we are looking at the home page. This is the default first page that we have. Over here on the right side, you will be able to see the different elements that you are able to add. You have text box, images, embed, drive, the different content blocks or basically layouts, different components pieced together to help you create your design, collapsible group, table of content, image carousel, button, divider, spacer, social link, placeholder, YouTube, calendar, map, docs, slides, sheets, forms, and charts over here. Depending on what you would like to add to your blog website, you could simply take it over on this side over here. Now you could also check out the different pages over here. Right now we only have the home page like I said earlier. And you could duplicate this, check the properties or add a sub page by clicking this just like that. You could also add more pages by hovering over this page over here. And you could add a new menu section, a full embed link, a full embed page, a new link and a new page over here. Before we start, we're going to show you the different elements that we could add. So. For blog website, of course, the heading is very important also and like the content page. But for the home page, of course, we're going to have like a home page section. So we're going to drag some content blocks over here. This could serve as like uh, our home page for our blog. This is where we can display the different articles we have, as you can see here. The way you would like, the way you would display or arrange your different elements depends on you. I'm just giving you an example on how we could use the different elements, how you could interact with the editor so that you would know how to use them when you do it on your own. So when you select a content block or a text, you can simply click this or you could drag it directly into your page over here. 
So this is our text over here. We could move it over to the top by clicking on this left side. You will be able to drag them and rearrange them just like that. And then you could type it over here. You could change the text type over here to like a heading. And yeah, like we could say blog articles, stuff like that. You could change the font here. You could change it to over to this one. We're going to highlight this. You could change it to the different fonts available in this section. It depends on you on what type of font you would like to use. But we're going to deal with this for now. We're going to settle with this. You could also increase the font size over here. Just like that. You could decrease and increase it. Just like that, depending on what type of size you would like to have. And you could also make it bold or italized or underlined or change the font color over here. You could make it red. You could make it orange. Just like that. And you could also make this a hyperlink by clicking this. You could insert a link. And you could add the different pages that you have created later on. For example, we're going to add a page right now. We're going to click new page and blog articles. Uh, we're just going to name it blog. Click on done. And now this is a page for blogs. Now going back to our home over here, we could like check out our page over here. We accidentally created the content into our uh, mini page over here, but we're going to continue anyway. So we could make this as a hyperlink. Click this and you could have blog over here and click on apply. So when people click this, they will be redirected to the blog section over here. This is where I would suggest that you put your different blogs. Now, usually when creating a blog, of course, you have your images. For example, we're going to have our image over here and like a group of text on the top section on the top part. So we're going to add that and we're going to drag it over here. You're going to have this as your header for your blog title. And then you could add another text below and we could have this as a normal text over here, like a description or the body of your uh, blog over here, like body one, you could have your contents over here and then you could have another one below the images over here like uh, we could say body 2. This is where you could put them and this is just a sample of layouts that you could use. You could also select this entirely and like you could edit the sizes of this individual photos over here and you could move them around if you would like. Just like that. And as you can see we have a design over here. We could make this one longer to be balanced just like that. And you could also add a design or a text over here as well as you can see. I'm going to add the text and we're going to drag it into this section over here. And you could add the text here. As you can see, we have a text over here and you can add like whatever you would like. And it will be in the specific section over here. To delete a section or like an element, you can simply click on them. And you could see this remove option, remove option over here, which would allow you to remove it. You could use any type of content block over here, depending on how you would like to present your blog. I'm just giving you a suggestion and I'm just showing you how you could use this. You could add some collapsible group if you would like. You could add this just like that. And you can make it collapsible or non-collapsible. You could also delete. You can also double click on a specific part of a page and you could add specific sections like image, text, or from drive over here. And from drive, you could upload different files from your Google Drive. I bet you're wondering how do you remove this big banner over here on the header? You simply go in to click this. Click on the header type and you could change it to cover, large banner, banner, or title only over here. If you have it to like the banner, you can simply have that and you could change the image by clicking here. You could either upload or select from different photos over here. As you can see, different galleries. You could have this maybe, click on select and as you can see, the background is changed. We could go back to our first page over here, our home page. You could add anything you would like. Depending on how you would like to format your blog, you could use the different templates or the different elements that I have talked about earlier. And if you would like to change your theme, you could simply go to the theme section over here. You could add custom theme over here or you could upload theme. Or you could choose from the different themes available over here. For example, we have Diplomat and it's going to change the theme as you can see. You could change the color to whatever you would like also. Or... You could also change the font size and you could also do this in this section if you want a specific color for your design, just like that. You could also change the font style over here from classic, light, and heavy. Depending on your preference, you could have that as well. And after finishing creating your website, you can simply click on publish over here, enter your web address. And we're going to click on publish and you will be able to successfully publish your blog website in Google site. And now this is the live preview of our page. And that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.